All right, let's talk about why email marketing opt-ins are so important. So first thing we're talking about is building an, a quality internet marketing business or building a business that has an internet marketing component that's healthy. And the only way you can do that is if you are creating a sense of community. So if, if you think about Twitter, if you think about Facebook, if you think about Google, if you think about some of these big internet brands that we all respect, one of the things that is fundamental about each of them is that they have a sense of community. There are people that go to those places for good information, and there are people that go to those places to interact with each other, right, for information and for interaction, okay? And so in, the reason you need an email marketing opt-in is that you can do the same thing for your business even if it's on a much smaller level than Google, for example. So the, the, the mission here is to, is to create community, create people that come to you in order for information and in order to, to get interaction. Okay, So that's, that's the big reason on why. Now, let's talk about what for, basically. So what you're learning here is exactly how to create that community. The because here's what you're basically going to end up doing. You're going to create this website. You're going to create this squeeze page. You're going to drive a lot of traffic to that squeeze page. You're going to convert those people into opt-ins, okay? And then they're going to join your email list. You're going to keep in contact with them. They're going to appreciate you. They're going to know you as an expert. They're going to know you as an authority. And then they're going to essentially pay you for being a value to them, for being a place of both interaction and information. Okay, so that's where that's where you're going, and that's why it's so important to appreciate the value of an email marketing opt-in. All right, now next piece. What exactly should you do? So the first thing you need to do is is you need to get a website if you do not have one. All right, an actual home page. Just get a place mywebsite.com. Okay. The second thing you need to do is, is you need to understand what a squeeze page is, what a landing page is, and, and you need to have one for yourself. So basically, this is a simple page that offers a trade to your website visitor. It says, I'm going to provide a certain a certain information or I'm going to I'm going to provide certain information to you in exchange for your name and email address. So, hey. Do you want to learn about the best way to fry tomatoes? I have I have a fried green tomatoes recipe. You've got to have it. I'll share it with you for free if you just provide me your name and email address. Okay? So that's tactically what you're actually going to do. Okay, so once you've done that, what happens? You, right now you have you've got a website up. You got a squeeze page up. You've got a traffic source and you are converting email opt-in so now you've got people on your email list what have you done you have just begun to create your own sense of community you've got people now that respect you because you've offered them information that they wouldn't have gotten any place else you're now unique to them right so so immediately what should you do right now if you don't have a website go get one call it mywebsite.com call it friedgreentomatoes.com Whatever your topic is, go create that site right now. The next thing you need to do is you need to create a offer on that on that sales page or on that on that um, landing page. Is you need to say, "Hey, I have the best recipe for fried green tomatoes. Give me your name and email now, and I'll give you that recipe." And and you, you can you can do that immediately. So once you've done those two things and you start driving traffic to it, you're now creating. A community for yourself. And that is the fundamental value of an email marketing opt-in.